right, the engineers have turned on the bell, which means we're almost ready to leave. Just once these final few guests board onto the train, we will be taking our leave here at the Nairobi train station. No more changing of seats, no more standing. This train is now in motion. All right, if you look to the right hand side of the train, give a big wave to our hardworking station master and our conductor from the last trip, Nishaya. Everybody say goodbye, Nishaya. So if you look over to the right hand side, you might get a catch a glimpse of our African penguin. So we around in their little nice swimming pool over there. Yeah, I'm coming up on both sides of the train. So the big green coaster that you can see around it is the Kino Hut Roller Coaster. If you know I'm in the Florida's longest history span over it. 3,400 feet of depth. Takes you around an average speed of 60 miles an hour. It takes you over three minutes to complete the entire circuit. You know, there's also a three-stage launch coaster, which means it'll launch you at three separate locations, taking you from zero to 60 miles an hour within just a matter of seconds. Now to the left hand side of the train, we might get to work through the tree. It is the edge of Africa. It is a self-guided walkthrough tour of our African lions, our meerkats, our lemurs, spotted hyenas, a 14-foot freshwater crocodile, and our hippopotamus swimming around in a 220,000 gallon observation tank.
don't wear any on the Serengeti belt. No, not on the Serengeti belt. It is a free roaming area for all the animals. So the animals are free to walk back and forth. And sometimes they do tend to walk in front of the train and we do kind of become the sudden stop. So please, if you must take pictures, please remember to take them from a seated position. Unless we come to a stop and you get injured from falling over onto somebody or onto the seat next to you. Or off the train. Or off the train. Yeah, over there on the left hand side, you may see them, those big animals. Those are our reticulated giraffes. Now, giraffes are the tallest of the land animals, growing up to about 18 feet tall when fully grown. They'll do pretty much everything from the standing position. Now we can tell our giraffes apart because no two giraffes share the same exact spots. And just like humans, they also have the same number of vertebrae in their neck as we do. Inside, look past the zebras and underneath one of those trees, you could catch a glimpse of one of the white rhinos. Now, the white rhino happens to be the second largest land animal, only second to elephants. Now, the white rhino can grow up to be anywhere between 4,000 to 6,000 pounds when fully grown, and they can run up to 35 miles an hour. Now, the white rhino has a very bad eyesight, really poor eyesight. In fact, right from back here, we're probably just a blur to him. At about 10 feet, a white rhino can't tell the difference between you and a tree. However, to make up for that very poor eyesight, they have an extremely well and very good hearing. If you 
look over to the right hand side of the train, you might see two rocks with very long necks. Those are not rocks, but they're actually our ostriches. They're all sitting down over there on the hill. Now, the ostriches are the largest of bird species. They grow to be around 300 pounds. They can run up to 40 miles an hour, but they are a flight bird. Now, their eggs that they uh, lay are the equivalent of about 24 chicken eggs. And we'll take a two hours station for the Skyrack. Uh, that's neither the entrance nor an exit to the Skyrack. Also, if you look over to the left-hand side right now, you might be able to catch a glimpse. Another glimpse of our white rhinos out there laying down next to the track. 